Supersonic shirt up in here. What's up? You know, whatever love. I got this cool hat I have. Um, it says Sorry. OC. Yeah. Me and my soulmate and stuff. You know. And uh, that part right here. No mouth in our temple. It will be spoken from the heart. But I was hurt. Uh, you know, no more lies and stuff. Everything that is going to be given to uh, the, the world and whatnot, and the soul and the man made the second Adam, which is me. And my wife is the second Eve. Um, I'm going to touch up on two things today. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say it like that. Uh, I, I got them watching this cool uh, show called The Chosen uh, a couple days ago. It's a really cool show. You know, so y'all should watch it. It's on Netflix. On, you know, it's pretty cool. It's called The Chosen, and y'all will pretty, probably really benefit from it, like like I did. Like even as a Christian man and stuff, like there's something different about this one. It wasn't like those uh, old time movies and stuff, you know, about like God and Jesus and stuff. Like it's almost different. Like it, it seemed more uh, uh, the substance, like what I always talk about in these my entrepreneur personal training videos. Real, real, recognized, real. The substance was real. If you get That'd be cool if not, then God would probably just slap you, slap you in the face and say, "Don't watch it." I'm just kidding. Yeah, maybe you will. I don't know. That's a joke. But anyways, that's what's good. That's what I'm gonna talk about in the second part of uh, this two-parter of our entrepreneurship and personal training video. So, with that being said, God bless you. Um, I'm just feel free. I hope everybody's doing great. Uh, I'm gonna continue sending everlasting love, light. Uh, and beautiful vibrations of prayers and etc. etc. to you and your family. I'm talking a little bit louder right now today because it's it's not the, it's not the morning time. In the morning time, like yes, like the video I made like yesterday, I was talking about kind of quiet. I had to keep it down and stuff because I'm a respectful man and whatnot as a kingdom father, kingdom husband. But uh, so that's why I'm talking a little bit louder and stuff. Uh, just something I wanted to point out. I know you never know who watches these. I want to make sure you guys know what's up, what's up. What's up, what's up, dude? All right. So uh, this video, the first part is how working out in the hot summertime and the hot weather, the warm weather and whatnot is hard as shit. It sucks, dude. It feels like you're in the desert. It sucks. Especially running outside. I'm not talking about working out in the gym and stuff. When you go outside and you, when it's, and it's hot outside, like, you know, Louis Zamperlini, he's a veteran from World War II. He's Italian as well. And he actually broke the record, a couple of, uh, actually a lot of records, as an Italian runner. His name's Louis Zamperlini. Uh, there's a movie about him called Unbroken. But, like, so he actually had, there's some stories about him from, like, running in the hot heat and, like, getting first place and shit. And other people like passing out it's tough but the point of this uh entrepreneurship the first part of it the first part of this video the personal training is that that's the best thing you can do and ladies and gentlemen i know you like you hate to hear it about movies and hollywood and whatnot but it's just like the movie creed with uh, my boy michael b jordan i was working out literally in the desert it's just a movie, but he was actually doing that. And that's it's like the best mother effing workout you could do. For you guys, for the woman, probably guys I'm mostly talking to, who are really trying to look to like better yourselves, like all around. If you're not a diva, if you're like a real man like me, that's what you gotta do. Yeah. Work out in this hot weather and, and you gotta be courageous and go out there and do it, man. Bring a little bit of water so you don't kill yourself. Alright? Bring a little bit of water and shit, but when you get to a level like me, you can make the desert your bitch. Quote unquote. 
I work out in this fucking hot weather. I surprise myself still to this day. That's how God blesses me. And that's how you know I'm human. Like it's not like I'm like walking through and like it's not like it's tough. And even at the end of it, when I get to my own home abode and whatnot, and I get to have that nice shower and and uh, water afterwards and replenish and juice. I get to have a nice little meal. Sometimes every now and then a cold beer or whatever. I just look at it and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I did that. So if you're trying to be like utmost of your, and that's going to last for a long time too, that's what I'm saying. Like that heals the or, every single little organ in there, in the heart, obviously, oh my gosh, the skin, everything. By just by being courageous and sacrificing, like able, like a herdsman in the hot, like, you know, the farmlands and whatnot, or whatever, what have you. Like, just go out there and do it, bro. Like, don't... F put the girl shit behind, yo. Stop being a little girl. Girls don't like divas, dog. I hate them. I don't like divas either. Don't be a little bitch. Get out there and fucking run and sweat a little bit. Bring some water so you don't pass out. If you do about to pass out, bring your phone so you can dial 911 right quick. And if you do pass out, you ain't a goddamn suburban area anyway. So a call will see you when you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying, bro? Just do it. Bite the bullet, bro. Play some Russian roulette. I'm Lithuanian. That's a little bit of Russian. I'm the best fucking goddamn Russian, Russian roulette player ever. Papa Chuck Mother Shook. Like, go out there and do it, yo. And it will get you... Uh, I'm trying to help y'all out. Personal train over here. Sammy D, how you doing? It will get you to... To live a long life. Like, this is not your mommy and daddy's motherfucking personal trainer. You know what I'm saying? You go, this is for you to live, actually live a long life. And when it's hot as shit out here, don't sit at the pool all day. Don't go eat and be fat. Reward thyself later. Earn that. Earn your meals. Earn your, it's not called cheat meals no more. Just earn your meals, bro. Earn your meal. Calories in, calories out. It's that simple. <clears throat> Let's go. This is what I'm saying. The gyms are cool and all that. Yeah, whatever. No, they're really not, honestly. I used to work in one day. I made it for the money to my family. Shit, cool. Bro. Shout out to the other I don't give a fuck. I don't know y'all shit. Do it out. Like, we, my, like what me and my friend Derek always say. Utilize it outside, yo. Buy your own dumbbells. Look out in your room in your house. Buy your own bench press. And my bro does with his son and shit. Like down in Chesapeake area. They got their own dumbbells and they work out themselves in their, in their house and shit. That's what I do with my kids. You know, kids and shit too. Buy your own dumbbells. Buy your own jump ropes. Uh, your own uh, ladders. Your own cones and whatnot. Just do it right there. You know? Doing your own whatever. And then when it gets hot like this, baby girl, I know y'all hate the rain, first of all, because y'all act like little cute. I'll be running the rain like it's nothing. I love the rain. So when it's hot out, now it's too hot, right? No, it's not. I haven't seen, I've seen like two people running this whole summer, along with me. I've ran almost every damn day. That's even after getting back from my retreat. So y'all have no excuse. If I can do it, you can do it. What have I, what have I always talked to you, taught you? If I can do it, you can do it. I've seen like two, three people this whole damn summer running with me. That's including you. What the hell? What, what are you young teenagers and what not doing? What do you do? Get out there and run. Enjoy this weather. Take out your, get some tank top. Get some tan. Get some vitamin D in, yo. Get some vitamin. Like, come on, bro. Make your mommy and daddy happy. Make your answers to that. Make the creator happy. Put on your headphones, listen to music, and enjoy it while you do it. I don't understand. Don't you all, don't y'all want to live a long life? Like, I really don't understand. Like, don't you want to be healthy, bro? Like, and look, looking good's cool, and that's tight and all that, but, yeah, but the great thing about physical fitness is that you look good on the outside, and you also look good and feel good on the inside, so you can live a long life. I'm sorry, but dying doesn't sound very pleasant to me. <laughs> no wonder why Noah was so old. You know? I don't understand, man. Utilize this. The environment. All, right. All you need is a pair of sneakers. 
buy a pair of sneakers and just do it. Bring it to the water, and then you gotta swig the water, swig it, drink it. You're gonna be all right. Nothing bad's gonna happen. You ain't gonna pass out. You ain't gonna die. I've never seen a heat casualty in my life. Even at the Crucible, there was like one, but that's the Crucible for the Marine Corps. The whole story, so I don't wanna talk about that. Y'all ain't Marines, nigga. Excuse my friends. Y'all ain't fucking in the hardest boot camp ever. Y'all are not in the hardest obstacle ever in the United States history called the Crucible to become a United States Marine. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you have no excuse to not get out there and run and work out or do whatever. Out. Something. Something. You have no excuse. You are a bunch of powder puffs. You're a bunch of... Prove me wrong. I've seen like three people this whole summer out there with me. I've been running every single day. Hiking too. And I hike as well. I still with my big pad. Marines call it a ruck, but I I mean, the Army you call it a ruck, but I'm a Marine. We call it a hike. We do hikes. We're better than the Army. We're the best military branch in the entire world. We're the, that's Pop Pong. It's true. A few of the proud of the Marines. We're the best. First one's in, last one's out. I'll be doing that. Come on, man. Come on, guys. And I got my education. It's Corporal here. Corporal Dumption. You can talk to me. What's going on? I don't care if you stink. Who cares about this? You're supposed to stink. Stinking's good. Stinking's attractive. You gotta stink, baby. Stink. Damn. Y'all ain't dolls, yo. Y'all ain't y'all ain't mannequins and shit. I'm like go out there and do, go out there and do it. Man, like y'all be acting like little girls and boys sometimes. And it's the people my age too and older. Y'all, y'all be riding around in your cars all day with air conditioner or whatever. Thinking you own the world. Look at this. Man, you fat and you unhealthy. What are you doing? Cool. You got an all me boot. You're smelling in your own chemicals. That's bad for you. You're stupid. And you go and talk about it. People go, out, you know, go out there and work out. Get out the car. Go work out. Go run. Get all you need to pay. Sneakers. My own father does it, man. He busts his ass out. He works full time. And he still gets the time in to walk around the block and sit. Walk around the neighborhood and all that. Because he cares about health. He knows what's up. Oh, my uncle, whatever you want to call him. Well, me and my father are, you already know, building real kingdom and stuff. It's easy for us, but we're trying to help, man. That's it. If you like, let's just go do it. I can't believe it. Like, <laughs> it's so beautiful. Like, <laughs> My neighborhood's gorgeous, right? Like, it's gorgeous outside. Go do it. Even when I go on vacation in Ocean City and stuff, you'd ask my wife, I would still get in my time with God and do my PT every morning. Every morning. And she and she'll be like right there be like, Oh my god, you're my man, I love you so much. Hell yeah, do you think, baby? Do it for both of us, right? Like And then right I would come back right after but she'd be right there waiting for me. You know, clean and washed up and all that good stuff, right? You know, I'm your right? Hell yeah, I know you're my man. Come on, man. That's all true love. Uh, even in vacate, what I'm saying, even on vacation, that's Beach Week too, Ocean City and stuff. Even when I was back, I'm 20, I'm 29 now. Even back when I was like 18, I was doing that shit. Like, yeah. like when I first graduated high school and stuff. So you have no excuse. I was still, like, you know, I had my a good time with my friends and stuff at Ocean City and whatnot. But even then, I would still, they would they'd look at me like I'm crazy. And I would still get in my PT in the morning. And they're like, what are you working out? What are you doing? And I was like, what do you mean, what am I doing? I like my health. What? <laughs> I'm, I'm a, what? You don't run? You don't work out? That's on you, bro. I'm trying to help, dude. And then the same people who said that, they're fat now. Like, F-A-T. They're fat and unhealthy. So, oh, oh, wow. Who's the funny one now? You're fucking dying. You hate yourself. You're ugly and whatnot. And now you're getting upset at the healthy guy who is doing it right come on now that's blasphemy hard-headed people come on man hard-headed y'all are hard-headed i'm the opposite i'm not even gullible in a good way you know i love that coffee you, coffee? you know do your coffee before you go i don't know what way it is y'all like let's go do it Get your freaking running shoes on your tennis shoes. And go do it. No, 
if it's because you think people care or judge you or like laugh at you, it couldn't be farther from the truth. It's the opposite. When people see people like me or whoever you are out there working out, yes, I know it's true because I do it myself. Like when I'm like, like when I'm riding and stuff. Like when I see another person working out and stuff, I'm just like, I get motivated myself. Like, I might be already already motivated in some type of way, but I'll see someone else, whoever you are, and I'll, just be, I'll beat the horn, and I'll be like, yeah, 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 I'll get motivated myself, and then I go do a night run myself. And that's a fact. So, what you think is negative, like working out or whatever, is actually quite the opposite. It's positive. So, when you see that, you, you motivate other people, bro. motivate other people who love you. Go out there and get it in this hot weather. I'm saying it right now because it's going to be fall soon. This is the only time I can say it. And it's worth it. Because let me tell you, it sucks right now too. But that's when you're going to benefit from it in the long run. Because it's going to get a little bit colder and stuff soon. In the fall and winter months, and then when you when, then, then when you do cardio, then or whatever you do outside, when it's a little bit nippier out, nippier, you know, colder, you know, all that, you're gonna be you're gonna you're gonna shock yourself. You're gonna be like, holy shit, talkie mushrooms. I'm so glad I did all that hard work in the summertime and breathed it all in when there's hardly any oxygen and then a freaking hot sun beating down on me. Uh, you know, getting you know. And then when you're in the winter time or fall time or whatever, springtime, doing it, when the weather outside, when it's a little bit different, if you will, because you will, you're going to shock yourself and you're going to feel good about yourself. Inside and out. And you're going to look good too. But first of all, you fat people and everyone out there, I'm sorry, don't, don't shoot the messenger, you're fat and unhealthy. Get out there and lose those calories now because that's the sweat, this hot heat will burn it the F off. Okay? Make sure you eat. You're not going to pass out and eat healthy. But right now, utilize that shit. And do not go in those stunt, those, um, what's it called? Those sun tanning things and like gyms and shit. Don't do that because you can you get cancer. You can get cancer and you can die. So don't do that. Utilize the natural sun. The beautiful sun. Because, uh, you know, if you're whiter, if you're fairer, like Esau, I feel sorry for you. But put on suntan lotion or whatever you white people do and go do it. Don't, you know, no excuses. I'm not going to treat you like a baby. I'm like your mommy or daddy. I don't fucking like you. It says in the Bible, I like Jacob. I don't like you. So I'm trying to help you. So do, go do that. Alright? Throw some suntan lotion or whatever you guys do. Some baby oil. Maybe have your mommy like rub your nipples before you go. And <laughs> you're going to be alright. You ain't going to though. Let me tell you that. You might. Hey, prove me wrong. I have loved Jacob and I hate him so. Any users, I know. Go do it. Get a backpack. Fill it with water. If you think you're gonna like uh you're not gonna get dehydrated, you're not gonna pass out too. Alright, you're not going to. But if you think you will, if you you know if you have a weird thing, if you're kind of an overthinker, which we all are, then get a little backpack or I don't know, get a fanny pack, like the rock and me, like, you know. There's no excuses, guys. Alright? So, yeah, I'm just joking, by the way, uh, right? I'm just joking about the fair skin, white, white people. Thing. I'm just fucking around, okay? I got older, I got white cousins and shit. I'm just fucking around, dude. So I'm just, don't take it to fucking all right. So, what I'm saying is, okay, seriously, conditioning in the heat is hard. So, I wrote down in my notes for you guys here this, this afternoon on August 16th, 2023. Conditioning in the heat is hard, but it's worth it. It's worth it. You're going to look good, okay? And you're going to feel good. You're going to be healthy on the outside and inside. Alright? It's worth it. Utilize what do I always say. You can tell I'm a survivor. You, you can tell I'm a United States Marine. Utilize your environment for what God gives you. It's not even being a Marine. It's called common sense. I was doing this before I even fucking joined the Marine Corps. Excuse my French. Like when I was like 14. Utilize your environment. Like when it's hot, when it's nice outside, utilize that shit. 
like whether you be healthy or unhealthy, still go go get in your exercise, get in your PT. Get it in, bro. Like, come on. Get it in. Alright? Your workout. Get in your workout. Don't forget. Alright? Told you I'm beyond. Utilize this weather for the future because when it the weather is going to once again when the weather is going to change and it gets a little bit you know nippier when it gets fall and winter and you work out outside and your warmer layers and whatnot you right now you might be running for like what an hour or so not many too many miles but then when that happens when it's colder because you work your ass off so hard in the heat it's going to be like cake for you bro it's gonna be like cake for you you're gonna be you're gonna start running when it's a little bit colder out or breezier and whatever and you're just gonna be like this is so enjoyable it's not tough like I'm not pushing myself sweating my butt off dehydrated whatever you know because I've worked so hard in the hot summertime day in and day out not just one day and you were like whoa oh uh, no, you did it. You, you were consistent with it. Which is very, very important. Consistency. Don't forget that. And then you do it when it's a little bit colder out and stuff. And now you're like, whoa. You love yourself even more too. And you feel better about it. And then when you were going for like 30 minutes or an hour or whatever you were doing outside, it was hot, you thought you were going to give up, you thought you were going to pass out, and then all of a sudden you're doing it when it's a little bit colder out and stuff, and you're just like, whoa, I can do this for like three, four hours, dude. This is cake. Ladies and gentlemen, that's called success. That's called hard work pays off. That's called what I just talked about a couple days ago about Muhammad Ali. Suffer now, and then with the rest of you life as a champion you're suffering right there when it's hot out but hey guess what now you're now you're feeling good about it now you're loving it you know what i'm saying that's utilizing your environment you know and creed's a good movie and stuff but guess what creed black man michael jordan someone did that way before you and his name is jesus christ it's called being the devil in the bible and he ain't black he's middle eastern italians and so on and he did that Long before a Creed movie, what you see in Hollywood, he actually did it, and he seems to be doing pretty damn good. He's the king of the universe, huh? Our father, so thank you, Lord. That's real shit. Go out there, and do it now, and then when it's colder and stuff, you're gonna surprise yourself, and you're gonna like it, and you're gonna feel accomplished. And that's also called, I think I might have said it earlier, hard work pays off. Okay sucks now but it's worth it get in get in there get it in and i'm talking to all you f I'm, I'm right there. all right so that's what i'm gonna say about that all right, all right. second part is coming up conditioning and making you utilize that it's warm weather Go out there and do it. There needs to be more people out there. All right, man. Don't be a hard head. The second one is we're in the paint for a reason. There's a beautiful real life story. It's a the woman at the well who quenched Jesus' thirst. The Lord, the God forever. Uh, the son of God and she's a good Samaritan she's a Samaritan and she actually has a name but you all know her as, the, as a Samaritan at the well for some reason I don't know why they do that I don't know because they keep her so sacred or and stuff like that but she's Middle Eastern she has Middle Eastern roots she probably looks kind of like this yes he does if you can Google her her name is Saint Fellini P-H-O-L-I-N-I -I. and I'm going to put up the links when I put this up and her main thing was that she had the longest conversation, recorded conversation ever. Well, Jesus, 
Christ, the Lord Almighty, the longest recorded conversation ever that he's ever had was with this person, this woman, the Good Samaritan at the well. And right afterwards, she went and spread the good word of Jesus Christ. She was the first, so in other words, she was another huge believer. She believed of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and she was happy about it. They're best friends, pretty much. They're best friends. And she went, she was happy, and, and she spread the good word. And that's a true story. Her name is Saint Fellini. P-H-O-L-I-N-I. -I. If you Google it, her colors are pink. And what I saw also is that she kind of looks similar to someone I know. I'm not going to say who. So when I watched that, do I don't know, God works in mysterious ways. I watched that The Chosen show. And right after that, I felt, oh, well, you know, I felt connected to it for some reason. And I'm glad I did more research into it with the tools and resources that the Lord and Savior has given me. Because, wow. So the second part of this is just the Lord and Savior is upon us. God and Jesus are here. And St. Felice is our game, or, or like a saint and stuff, you know. And she's, you know, she had, she had kids. So her bloodline goes through too. So that can make them saints too. So like, God works in more serious ways. All I'm saying is, the Lord and Savior is upon us. And we are all going, we're going to be saved. Hopefully, you will. But I know me and my family are going to be saved. Through St. Felice and through body right here because she quenched Jesus' thirst she could have very well said no she could have very well said all that anything but she said that's she turned and God saw that right could have saved his life who knows and then the rest was history literally and they're Middle Eastern by the way Pal Palestine Samaritan present day is Palestine if you look up Palestine, I actually looked up Palestine people, and I look like Middle Eastern. I look like Palestine, which is, which is, which I'm happy for, by the way. Like, they're a good-looking group of people, beautiful brown eyes like me, dark skin. I knew I always looked different, so. Well, you know, Middle Eastern, beautiful, gorgeous, inside and out. The God's people come from there, like the Lord and Savior on that mountain. The well, or whatever it was, of Jacob. I know name's Jacob. God works in mysterious ways. Maybe he did that just so he could make sure. I don't know. Yeah, Jacob. Samaritan. I'm, my name's Samuel. I say uh, Sam. Samaritan. <laughs> Jacob. Israel. Can't make this stuff up. Saint Fellini. I put up a. It's beautiful. She's beautiful. She's a gorgeous. She quenched our Lord and Savior's thirst. Her name is Saint Fellini. And she is now personally my favorite. Besides Jesus, you know, I'm the same saint or whatever, you know, you have a favorite. She's my favorite. Like instead of naming my name, you know, confirmation, I would have been can I be Saint Fellini, even though she's a girl? Can I be the woman at the well? They'd probably have been like, I can't I don't think you're allowed to do that, switch genders. I'd have been like, dude, can I be Saint? But whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was a young kid back in the day. Of course, confirmation at 13 years old, now 29. That's what's beautiful about this life. You learn more and more about people of God and people of Jesus. <laughs> so you can help more people. And like what St. Fellini, Fellini did, spread the good news of Jesus being there. And that's what exactly what I'm doing. I don't know, 2,000 years later, literally 2023, <laughs> God works in mysterious ways. Wearing beautiful pink because they depicted her wearing pink right you gotta look at some pictures I want you to see what she looks like she's gorgeous and then you'll get some ideas I don't know she looks like someone I know so that's it I think Jesus would really be proud of me for doing that right now because uh yeah it's like the best friends forever it's like what happened on that mountain or whatever that well the longest recorded conversation and then afterwards she was spreading around and then 
just because of one thing, just because she quenched his thirst. So, and she was kind of like an angel on earth herself. Like, she was like a savior herself to him. She was a savior to the savior. That's why I love Saint Felini. She was a savior to the, our savior, right? Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In a world that would have, like, that, that crucified him and, 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 and all that disgusting evil shit. She was the opposite. She was in the spectrum. She was... Yeah, it, you know, of course. You know, thirst. I got my own shit going on. Yeah, it's a weapon. Yeah, it's, well, Jacob. You know, he was minded. Of course. Yeah, it's everybody's well, right? And the rest was history. Like, she earned her place in heaven and her family forever and ever after that. Just by doing that. Because... She was also put there by God too, because we're all created by the Lord. So when she was like dying for a bunch of thirst, the Lord works in mysterious ways. She was like, "You're gonna need this person." She's an angel in disguise on Earth. She doesn't know her. She doesn't even know she's an angel. She doesn't think much about herself, but she is. But I'll tell you one thing: she, out of anybody, she's gonna give you that one getting quench of that thirst. Told you I'm Christian Catholic, man. I love my Lord and Savior Jesus. So get used to it. If not, go somewhere else. It's not all health and exercise. It's not all football. It's not all lacrosse. It's not all, uh, you know, you get the drift. When I, I'm going I'm to I'm talk about my faith. I'm going to talk about it. My own, I'm going to talk about Jesus. Like, that's just the way it is. If you don't like it, like it. I ain't going to quench your thirst. Because <laughs> that's my Lord and Savior. Right? Others would, would say no and not quench his thirst. I'm going to quench his thirst. And I'm going to spread the good word about it too. Because I'm a believer, baby. I know that for a fact. May all the Middle East be peaceful forever and have no hate from here on and also the entire universe because of this story I just told, which is true. And if not, like I said, it's all good. Our Lord is upon us. Our Lord is here. Our Lord has risen. The tomb is empty. Alright? The Son of God is upon us. St. Fellini. Check it out. Cool. And I wasn't going to go into something about the second Adam and the second Eve, but I think I did earlier in this video, which I did. That's all I'm going to say about that. But it's true. Shout out to my girl. How you doing, baby? We never... You didn't either. You didn't for men, for men, for men. So that's cool too. God sees everything you're doing. So you should act cool. You should act really nice and just knowing that God is watching you. And uh, hopefully you quench with someone's thirst instead of uh, denying them. Because you never know if that person could be the Lord and Savior, God himself. And I'm glad that uh, St. Fellini and, and me in modern day chose to say yes, of course.
I didn't think I was going to do it, but I did. I know there's a reason why I got through all that hard stuff, I'll tell you that. You know? Yeah. It's beautiful, like he truly is here. As long as here. And he accuses people in those beautiful kind of ways, too. So, yeah. Don't judge, because you never know if the uh, person you judge or mean to is the exact descendant of St. Philippe herself and Jesus and the ancestors are watching right now like I'm gonna fuck you up you have no idea who you're messing with is that the same person you've been messing with could be a archangel saint themselves because it's in the bloodline so Middle Eastern Samaritan Saint Fellini Middle East I think you get the picture now not African not white in the cave and whatnot. Middle Eastern. Well, good Samaritan. Jerusalem, Israel. It's all the Middle East. I myself, I'm Middle Eastern. Kind of like the movie from the, the movie The Lion. Or Lion. How they do, like, find out where it came from and stuff. It helped me find, you know. I don't know where I'm from. Whatever. Italians are certain, yeah, but a lot of Italians, like, there's white people, fair skinned people who say they're Italian. Now there's black people in there now. I'm like, wait, hold on. Definitely not Irish. No. I'm Middle Eastern. Palestine, Israel, now all that area. Samaritan. And I rock it. And you know me. And I'll be rocking. I love Israel. Of course, duh. My name is Israel Jacob. That's where God and God's people come from, including me. Hello. St. Lady. Bloodline, if you will. Hi. Palestine, Middle Eastern. Quenched the thirst of God. Kinda had, kinda like what I talked about, smart wisdom, right? Man, God loves his people, let me tell you that. I'm so happy and I'm so glad that God showed me this revelation where I, I actually come from and who I am and this beautiful group of people. How it's Palestine, Middle Eastern, Israel, that area of the beautiful gorgeous desert of God's people, Jerusalem. And how my ancestors literally walked and talked the longest recorded conversation ever with God. That's, that's there's nothing you can do. It's wow. Wow. Just by being a young 29 year old young man, watching a little bit, of, just relating to it and, and, and doing research myself and, and looking at the eyes and looking at the face and saying, well, listen, and listening to, jo to Josh. You see that? I just called Jesus Josh. It's gorgeous. And listening to Josh, listening to Jesus Josh, right? God. And not being a fucking stupid idiot. Not being a jerk. I'm Palestine, Middle Eastern, beautiful. Like, look at me. I'm proud of that. Why would you not? You should see how my hair is longer. It's even more beautiful. The curly hair stuff. And the soul is even more gorgeous. The Christ who quenched his thirst. And now we will gain, what did he say? Eternal life. This well, this water from the well, will not give you eternal life. It will quench your thirst for a bit. But what did he say? You believe in me, if you have me, and etc. And you will gain eternal life. Eternal water of life from God, from Jesus, from my best friend. And that's what he gave me. That's what he gave me my people and us Middle East not Italian not Irish not German ill not stupid England not ugly ass America nowadays not Africa I feel bad for you guys by the way y'all watch the slaves you need us 
better start acting right because he's here. He's Middle Eastern. He's gorgeous inside and out. Don't you ever mess with him because then you gotta hear from this good Samaritan. And I'll. I got some people to talk to as well who take care of you. He's not Asian, far from it. Middle East. We all knew it ever we were talking to him. It's true. And I'm from that area too. Palestine area, Middle East. So beautiful, so gorgeous. You're a good looking group of people. And I got that well that well, I will gain, you get eternal life. This well of Jacob and whatnot, it will quit your thirst for a little bit. And if you believe in him, and you, you are God, you gain eternal life. He's here. Spread the good news. This is great news. So, yeah. He'll come help you. I told you, I, I'm, no one else can help you except God. I'm, obviously, I'm, I'm just chilling. I'm just I'm a fellow Good Samaritan in a weird type of way. I'm a present day Good Samaritan. I'm a present day Saint Felini, the male bird. That's what, that's all, that's all I am. It's 2023. Dude, I'm the present day version. If you want to call it that. That's it. Don't shoot the messenger. Like when she spread the good news, why would you try, even try to hurt a beautiful uh, Good Samaritan woman spreading the good news of God being on earth? You would kill, you would die yourself. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm spreading the good news that he's here. You got a problem with that? Good luck. He's saying gonna ruin my day. Because <laughs> I had a great encounter with God himself. And he's as gorgeous as I picture. And he must be the he must be the Christ. Inside now. Palestine, Middle East Ridge, whatever. There we go. Okay. He will be there for you. Okay. He came for the lost. He came for the meek. He came for us. All I'm saying is, I don't know, is that once again, he's upon us. The Christ is here. Again. He kept his promise. Because I quenched his thirst instead of saying no, right? I mean, not me, but the good man. Instead of saying no, he could have died of dehydration, who knows, and then that's it. But, I said yes, quench his thirst. So now it's the starter pack fire for the rest of the heaven on earth. All because of the safe, all because of the longest recorded conversation. He knows I can talk, as friends. Well, out of all things, my name is Jacob, the well of Jacob. It's all in our roots forever, y'all. It's gorgeous. I feel it, I love it. And that's like I'm so proud of where I come from and who I am. I always knew there was something different about me and I was chosen for a special reason. And I'm so glad I wasn't like no no offense, the white kids, the black kids. <laughs> but in the mirror I always like myself a little bit more. Obviously, my wife does too. Yeah. So, next time you want to think you're not gorgeous because you're from the Middle East, it's the other way around. You're the most, we're the most gorgeous people in the world, in the universe. Because we're literally God's people. There you have it. Yeah. I would say we're royalty, but it's an understanding. We're God's people. Truly God's people. Can you see it? Can you the Middle East? Hi. And me, myself, my family comes from the Palestine area. Old day Samaritan, present day Palestine. So to my Palestine cousins and the family, and aunts, uncles, I hope you understand me. Say hello, I love you so much. Uh, I'm safe and good. I hope you guys are safe and good too. And maybe you've been watching over me one way or another, because I was also watching over you one way or another. The same with obviously Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty. And He loves us. <laughs> he fucking loves us. Because of one person. Which is all of us. 
come from St. Fellini, the Good Samaritan. We quench his thirst. We are blessed with an everlasting life and the water of life. The water of Jacob's good and all that. But he blesses us with everlasting life. Because of our ancestor, St. Fellini, now us. Well, I guess, I guess now me. And you, ancestor. There you have it. So you Palestines or that area? Hello. Greetings. I'm your brother? Samuel Jacob David Dumsha Israel Palestine Middle East The Good Samaritan Blood from the Lord Savior Water of Life Jesus Christ Saint Falim Friends call me Sam. See you around.